I'm going to tell you why McKinley will never get more wins than Maslin. But before that, let me give you a little history of the rivalry. See, what a lot of people don't know is, back in the 1800s, there was a canal that ran through the heart of Maslin. And on this canal, they used to ship goods, farm goods, and commodities to the market, which made Maslin the commercial hub for Stark County. But a couple years later, here comes the railroad. And because of landscaping issues, they had to build the railroads in Canton, which made Canton the hub and eventually the county seat of Stark County. And then, and only then, did it move to the sports arena. Now here's why McKinley would never have more wins than Maslin. Because it's real kids in Maslin. Maslin still got real kids, kids that go to sleep, go to school, go to practice and play football. These is real kids. There's still real kids in Maslin. Now Canton, on the other hand, about time a kid hit 12, 13, they hanging with their older cousins on Instagram throwing up gang signs. They ain't got time for school. They in the streets. If you don't know what the streets is, they in the streets. You see about time they hit 12 or 13, they ain't thinking about school. They thinking about some money and they repping they side of town. Simple and plain. And it's hard to get good grades when you're a gangster. It's hard when you're doing drive-bys to be eligible to play football. All the kids with talent is in the streets in Canton. You see, the kids in Maslin catch footballs. The kids in Canton catch bodies. And until they start giving out programs and opening up community centers and giving these kids something to do, it's not gonna change no time soon.